Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I am talking about how to get rid of flaky scalp conditions. If you have itchy or flaky scalp, well, doing this will get rid of that problem and you will be on your way to healthy hair growth and a healthy scalp. And it's very, very simple. First of all, the flaky scalp condition that you may be experiencing may be build up of sebum and other products that may be in your hair or on your scalp, which can lead to other, um, you know, things, you know, with the scalp like dandruff and a lot of other stuff. So you're not properly cleansing your hair. So you need to first focus on getting, using a nice or um, cleansing agent such as a shampoo agent to get rid of all of the gunk and you know crap and all that other stuff out of your hair. Now, many of you may say, well, if I use a strong cleansing agent, my hair is going to be dry, it's going to be hard and brittle. Now, don't just go and get um, a cleansing agent and just start, you know, heavy duty cleansing agent and just start um, shampooing and getting rid of all of, just to get rid of the flaky scalp. First thing you want to do is um, focus on conditioning your hair. If your hair is already dry, you want to focus on conditioning your hair and getting it soft. And then the night before you shampoo, you apply an oil to your hair like olive oil, grapeseed grapeseed oil, coconut oil, and you let the oil sit in your hair overnight. You know, um, you do like a hot oil treatment, warm the oil so it can penetrate the hair strands, somewhat soften it. And you're going to lace your hair with a lot of oil before you shampoo. Now the shampooing um, component um, or the shampooing um, step is only to be applied to the scalp only. So you'll get your little applicator bottle, you take a little bit of the shampoo, or just apply it to the fingertips and just start massaging that shampoo in your hair, just you know, scrubbing, you know, all of the any dandruff, any white milky looking stuff that may be on your hair any white flakes that may be on your hair, you're going to focus on that. You're going to wash. And if you see more of it, you're going to repeat. You're going to just cleanse that scalp until all of the stuff is gone. Now, once your hair has been rinsed and cleansed, now the next step is to, um, your hair should be you know, moisturized. The hair part should be still soft, but the only area of your um, hair, but the hair on your scalp, no, uh, your scalp, but not the hair on your scalp, your scalp should be cleansed and just free of all product buildup, flakes, and all that other stuff if properly cleansed. Now, the next step is to get your oil. So, you're going to get some olive oil. You know, get your cat or your castor oil or coconut oil, you know, jojoba oil. Find, you know, your grapeseed oil, get a light oil, put you a few drops of rosemary, a few drops of lavender, not too much. All you need is three to five drops of um of those essential oils and apply to your um, olive oil blend. And you just apply it to the scalp and you massage that in. While your hair, your scalp is still moist and clean, you want to apply that in. You're going to massage it in. You're going to warm it up, massage, you know, the oil into your scalp and into your hair. And then you're not going to rinse, especially if you have dry scalp. You're going to leave it on, okay, in your hair and let your hair just suck up the oils. Now, the next step, you're going to continue with your conditioning, you're going to continue with oiling your hair or whatever other steps that, you know, you do after, you know, you cleanse. But the most important thing you have to do is cleanse the scalp and get it 
cleanse really well. Because once you start cleansing your scalp and you repeat that over and over, after about a month or two or three, your, your scalp is going to get used to becoming clean. And then you're going to start experiencing less flakes or less flaky scalps. So and you'll be able to go a longer period of time between washing because we all follow this schedule that, oh, we have to wash once a week. You have to wash once a week. In reality, you may not. You can probably go two weeks without washing. You got to look at your scalp. And it depends on how much product you use in your hair. It plays a big part on whether or not you need to cleanse your hair on a regular basis. So play, pay close attention to your scalp. You know, pay attention to your hair, but pay close attention to your scalp. Your scalp is going to let you know if it needs to be cleansed or maintained or washed on the regular. Because your scalp should not be to the point where it's super itchy. I mean, you know, by the end of the week. <laughs> you should be able to go two or three weeks before your scalp becomes, gets to that part where you're like, oh, I have to clean. Or unless you have very, very oily scalp. You, should, you, you can go a long period of time in between washing unless your hair is naturally oily. And then if it's naturally oily or if it's extremely oily, it's, it's telling you something also that is there's a reason why it's producing way too much sebum because maybe you're over cleansing your hair. You're washing um, more than, you know, twice a week or more than once a week. You're over washing your hair and that's why your hair is producing so much oil and why it's super greasy from sebum is because you're over washing so or over cleansing so you want to just keep it simple keep your hair regimen simple and your hair will thrive you have less dandruff and less problems or issues with your hair and your scalp so I hope this information was very helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching and you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.